Hello again, and today at Cloud Education, we're going to teach you how to use a switch with um, Arduino. And um, we're going to show how the switch can be used to um, to make things move. So first of all, we've connected. I'll go for the next moment. First, we're going to connect up our Arduino with the firmware. Let's click on the firmware. Open up the firmware. And just send it to um, to the Arduino. It's going up. They're just compiling the uh, program, and up it goes. Oh, my fault. I just unconnect from um, that one there. I'm already doing some here, so I'm going to just undo that. Um, save, and it's gone. So we'll try again. Compiling the sketch, uploading it, and it's done. So we can now get rid of the Arduino, and we'll open up Scratch for Arduino S4A. And again, as usual, it does search for the board and finds the board. It's found the board. So I'm going to explain what I've done. I've put a pin, oh sorry, I've put a wire on pin 10, that's a digital input, and also a wire on pin 2. And effectively that's going to be turned on, and when that receives, when, it says the, connections, when the connection is made between those two pins, that changes to true. So I'm just going to just um, show you very quickly the basics, because I'm going to open up what I've done before. We don't save that, that's fine. And we're going to go to basic switch. And we're going to go to the Arduino bit over here. This again looks for the board again. So, we have a few programs here. So, when the green triangle is clicked, when we start off our programs, we're going to turn on digital, tin, no, digital number 10, so that's set to high. Then we've got a program here, I'll that for a moment. But if sensor digital 2 is pressed, in other words, if the connection is made between 10 and 2, this variable we've called on is set to 1. And the moment it's set to 0, it's going to wait 3 seconds, and then other things going to happen. So that's forever, so that program runs forever. They're going to go over to here, explain some things. So I've just got a simple um trampoline background not doing anything i've put a button in i've made two buttons on sorry off and on and again if that variable on is set to one um the costume will change to put in pressed obviously the can be obvious one if it's not one it goes back to um that. So again, this variable is really important. Now we go to our, um, our ball. So again, our program, if variable 1 is 1, it's going to glide, going to move up at, at the y-axis to there, wait a second, and then glide down again. And then when it gets to the bottom, ah, when it gets to the bottom, it's going to set 1 back to zero. Um, I could put a when it's at that position, it should do that, but we can look at I'll look at that later. Uh, if it's not doing that, it's just going to go to there. It's going to go back to the machine and go down there. Um, I've also got a sound as well. If one is set to one, it's going to set the volume a bit lower, play the sound until it's done, and then when one gets back to zero again, it's going to turn the volume off. And this waiting here is kind of a, um, it's kind of a, um, so I'm going to put a wait actually in here. I'm going to put a little wait time in here. Let's just get to the bottom. So I'm going to put a wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to put that into there. I'm going to wait one second and then set that to, um, to zero. Sure, it's not the best way of doing this program. Um, but I'm sure there's uh, ways of doing it. And surely, yeah, 
that's OK. OK, so we just go back to program. So the Arduino board is going to, is a key thing, turn on digital pin 10, check if it's pressed, set 1 to 1, and then this happen. And if you watch on here, digital 2 should change digital 1. Should change. So we're going to make it big. And we're going to press the button. So nothing's happened at the moment. Just keep an eye on digital 2, keep an eye on that watch the button and watch the ball. So whatever your switch is, it's your choice, just a connection, joined it, and it's come down again. And you notice the digital 2 went to true, the on went to 1, back to 0 again, and the button pressed. Just do it again. And we'll do it one more time. So again, the advantage of the Arduino is that all we've done is we've just used a sensor device to alter a variable. This is standard technique with the Arduino, just something happens and it alters a variable. Once you've got your variable altered, you can then do lots with that. Um, okay, I'll do it one more time. So make a big screen on there, start that. zero again. I think it must have been touching the switch on, so do it one more time. And last one. Okay, we'll stop scripts. And that's another simple tutorial from uh, Cloud Education. Thank you. Bye-bye.